Hello there, Reason People, Pooba here, and welcome to my channel. And today we're just going to quickly go over how we can create our sales zone mono track nice and quickly. Um, I see this sort of question comes up on the forums quite a bit, and one of the big answers I see from people is, hey, just unplug your right hand cable, unplug your right hand cable. Whilst you could say technically you are taking a stereo channel and turning it into a mono channel, you are losing half of your stereo data which um, is obviously quite important. You need to keep that stereo field, clamp it down, and then you can work on the mono. So let's very, very quickly grab ourselves a Thor here. It's just for demonstration purposes. I'm gonna very, very quickly just record myself uh, some notes in here. So we've got ourselves some notes in here, and let's just zoom in if I can. There we go. And then what I'm going to do here is just going to do right click and just do a quick bounce in place. And then as you're going to expect, we're going to have ourselves, here's our stereo, and here's our data in the stereo, which we all expect. So what I'm going to actually do now is go back to Thor, and I'm just going to take this pan off, it's got a nice little pan off, I'm going to turn it all the way to the right. And then over here, we're going to do a quick bounce in place as well. So let's zoom in again. So just done a quick bounce in place. And as you expected, no data in the left-hand lane. And we've got all our data in the right-hand lane because I panned it in Thor itself. So this is where a good demonstration of demonstrating of why you can't just remove your cable. Because now people are going to say, well, this is where they will come along and say, hey, remove your right-hand cable. So you remove your right-hand cable. And let's go back over. Sorry, let's go here. It's going to delete this out. Give it that, and I'm just going to zoom in here and say unmute, clip, right click, bounce in place, and we're gonna end up with nothing. Yeah, because we've ignored the right-hand channel and we've taken the left-hand channel, and then obviously it's produced a stereo file, which absolutely nothing in it, but we know there actually is data in this. So what is the best solution then of getting this to work the way we need it to work so we can get some stuff out? What I do here is, um, let's make sure, A, uh, we're fully wired back up again. <laughs> make sure I don't want to forget that. So we've got our left and right going in. So we're going in as normal. I'm going to come over here and, sorry, clicked on the wrong button there. I'm going to take the stereo width. I'm going to take the stereo width all the way down. So we've now collapsed our stereo field down, which is really what was was after to do. Over in this uh, mixer channel here, which is connected to the Thor, I'm going to click on the record source. And then I'm gonna come down here and say, let's create ourselves an audio track. And then I'm gonna connect it to Thor's left. Now remember before Thor's left was empty, but we haven't, we've now collapsed the stereo field down within that particular mixer channel. So what we're gonna do now, which is a little bit different, is I'm going to um, record onto this track. So let's do it. And as you can see, we've ended up with a mono track, what we was after. Now obviously I can right click this and I can also do a bounce and do a bounce to disc. And I was gonna put this into this temp directory, go, go. So that gets rid of that. And then let's quickly pull up that temp directory. Here it is, here's that file. So it's a little bit small. Oh, you can't probably see it, there it is. Let me just double click on there and there it is. So it's actually done it. Now, if you are ever having issues uh, where it hasn't exported and it has exported it in stereo, because it shouldn't do, it should it's a mono, it should be mono, but just in case you don't, from here, what, I, what you can do is obviously click on file, Oops, zoom in again. And then down here, we can do export mixed channels. And under here, you want to make sure obviously your audio is selected and make sure you select this one. As default, it's usually on all, but if you make sure all except the fader section, so it's ignoring the level and the panning, it will actually export that definitely out as a mono file. So I've never had issues when I do right click. It might be because I always have that option set to not all set to all. But anyway, so there we go. That's a simple way of how we're going to get a mono file out. We don't go around disconnecting right hand cables or anything like that because you end up start losing stuff. Some people might say, oh, here's another one. What people might do is they might say, hey, we could throw a spider in here, say for instance, and there's nothing wrong in throwing a spider in here. Oh, where are we? Utilities, devices, there's a spider there. Quick, let's throw that in. Um, and they might say, well, look, if we wire this up to here and put this into here and this into this, and this in over into here, and then remove that right-hand cable. But this time we're gonna take this right-hand cable and push it up onto that same line. So we've now got left and right coming out. 
yeah, that, that is going to kind of work. That's going to, obviously there we can see we've got ourselves some mono stuff coming out. Um, just bear in mind, you might have some pan laws, you've got some other things going on. So you're kind of not doubling your signal, but you're, you're pushing a lot more signal through. So you might get some other funnies going on there. Um, if you were going to follow, go down this sort of route, I'd recommend getting something like the stereo imager and turn them both down. And then you can unplug one of your cables. Um, and I'd do it that way and collapse it that way if you wanted to. So that way you would end up with a stereo mixer, um, a mono uh, mixer channel rather than a stereo mixer channel. But there we go. Anyway, waffling as usual. Uh, thank you for watching and bye for now.